So, hey guys, and um, this is going to be my skincare boot camp four, I think. Um, if you're not familiar with my kind of skincare boot camp series, it's kind of like a fun way of just getting my skin cleared up because you might be able to see I've kind of put on quite a high coverage foundation today just to film in. Um, I don't have the rest skin, and before I started this, I wasn't into skincare at all in the slightest, so that's probably why my skin was bad. But now I'm trying to kind of sort it out, and I must have been doing this for almost four months now because I do a video every month ish there thereabouts sort of thing so i mean it's probably longer than that since i did my last one because i haven't really changed it very much recently um and i've been quite boring so i'm just going to get straight into it and start off with the products that i've kind of been using so the very first one i don't take my makeup off with makeup wipes anymore like i used to i use bioderma which um if you're not familiar with it's kind of a french skincare brand and i use the h2o Kralin? Kralin? One, I have this and I have one for very dry skin because when I bought it I was kind of going through dry patches and stuff. I haven't used the dry skin one yet because my skin's kind of gone oily again. But I use this to take off my makeup and it's so much nicer than using makeup wipes by far. I love this over makeup wipes. I just get a little bit on a uh, comp pad and take all of my makeup off with it. And I think it's really nice to use. The second thing that I've kind of used at the beginning of this month or this kind of series section is this, it's the Clean and Clear Morning Energy one. I hated this the first time I did this video and I included this, I slated this, I actually hated it, but I've actually really got into using it and really, really liked it and I think that it kind of helps my skin when my skin's a bit more dry, but it's not anymore, it's kind of gone more oily again, which is why I use the next product. So <laughs> this next thing um, you're probably familiar with on my channel, it is the um, Clearasil Rapid Action Gel Wash Ultra and it's just this blue gel kind of formula it's the one thing that I keep on coming back to every time I use this my skin it kind of dries the oil out of your skin which sounds quite disgusting but for me I have such oily skin I have to use it um it does help my oil I can I can tell when I've used it in like the morning I put it on you know you scrub your face or whatever um don't scrub your face that's bad for your spots just saying um but you kind of just you know you wipe you wash your face with it and I always find that this really helps get rid of the oil on my skin. So whenever my skin's looking a bit oily in the morning, I use this normally on it every day. If my skin isn't looking too oily, I use my Clinique, like my blemish kit, little start bar soap thing. Um, I use that on my face because I just find that's kind of very gentle every day facial wash, but it's not very good for oily skin. Like it works, but it's not as tough and good as I would say this is. So that's why I use this when I have really oily skin and that when my skin's okay. Moving on to something a little bit kind of different that I haven't mentioned before. Um, well, I have mentioned it, but not fully. It's my Neutrogena Wave. I haven't mentioned this in a skincare bootcamp video because I didn't have it last time I did one. And it's a bit wet still just from being in the bathroom. And so it's just this, you put little pads on it and then like the pads have the facial wash in it and then you turn it on. Where's the button? You turn it on and there's two. So that's the fast one. That's slow. You could turn it off and on. And I don't know what it is. There's so many different settings and I don't really know how to use it. So I haven't really faffed around for too much. But I got it on sale. And if you want to hear more about it, go check out my haul video. Which I think it's in. Yeah, it is in. Um, it comes with the batteries already. So I haven't actually had to buy anything other than I bought a refill pack. Which was also on sale at the same time. So... Really, I haven't spent much money on this at all yet, but really neat little piece of kit. If you're just going away for a weekend and you don't want to take a flannel with you, this is perfect. You can just kind of, I just do it in circular motions around my face. I tend to use this as well if my skin's kind of dry because it just kind of gets rid of all the dryness and makes it a little bit more soft and smooth and stuff. And it's supposed to be quite good for like getting right into your pores. I don't know how far I'd go with that, but... Yeah, it's, it's a good product and I think it kind of does what it says on the tin. I just want to mention something that my doctor actually prescribed me. Um, I haven't got a clue what any of it because it's obviously just kind of like a prescription brand. But it's this thing here. It's this cream here. I don't really know anything about it at all. I know that actually my doctor just said that um, it will probably be quite... Um, you'll make your spots quite red and peely. So that's why I don't use it very often. It says you're supposed to use it once a day. But I don't even go and use it like that often. I use it like hardly ever. I use it once. I use it once every other day if that sort of thing. So yeah, that's that cream. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this cream. So if you've been prescribed this cream, 
just be wary with it. I'm not too sure about it. Next thing I've got to talk about is this. This is my toner of choice. I've put this on my Christmas list just because I love this toner so much. It's the Lizelle Skin Tonic Instant Boost. No, Instant Boost Skin Tonic. Um, it's just her toner and it's definitely my favourite one. I've just got the mini one, which is just 50ml, but yeah, really cute. Um, I just love it. I think it smells, it always makes me feel really relaxed when I smell it. It's quite, it's like a herbal scent, but yeah, I really, really like this toner. It's my toner of choice. Next on moisturiser, I haven't really got a moisturiser of choice, this is just the one I've been using anyway, and it's the Stila Petal Infusions Moisturiser Hydrate, Hydrant, Hydrant, for oily skin. I got this in TK Maxx a while ago, um, thank god I'm almost running out of it now, I'm not a big fan of this, I'm just kind of using it to use it up. Um, apparently this is quite an old brand that actually isn't used anymore, like this particular product, because I know they don't sell it anymore, so... I'm a bit like it was out of date or something, but you know, it's okay. I don't really like it very much, but I can't justify throwing it away just because I don't like it. So that's all I've got to say for my skincare boot camp episode four. My skin has been pretty normal. It's not been playing up very much. Obviously my skin spots aren't the best at the moment, but I don't have anything in particular that I've been using like amazing. And it's like, this is just so amazing. I must tell you about it. But um, yeah, nothing's really changed. So it's a bit boring and I might, not even do something like this next month if it's still the same I might just kind of just say yeah my skin's still the same as last month and haven't really bought anything new nothing's really happened but yeah anyway I'll see you guys next time bye